All right, so in today's video, we are watching a gold one Zen and Ana on Circuit Royale, which is a, you know, Zen's good in this map. Ana's in a unique spot right now. Basically, they said that their uh, team was out DPS. That simple. And they want to know what they can do to help their teammates or help out their team. So basically, they want to showcase their uh, team getting rolled by a Widow, probably. Uh, actually, I don't even know what they're going to play. We'll see. This is a very strong Widow map, so it's not uncommon. If you're not running a, a Sniper, you may struggle a little bit. Um... It can happen, not all the time. You can win with pretty much any comp on here, but this map is a very dominant sniper map. At the same time, they are running Mercy's End and they have a Winston, so. Wonderful. The first step there is not trying to wide peek the Widow after your teammate just gets rolled. They're gonna have the advantage on you temporarily. I like you going for shots on the Widow, but not after you watch your teammate follow. All right, so that's step number one. All right. Nice pick. Discord the Widow. Nice. So far, so good. So far, so good. Don't overpeak this. Don't give him a free pick. Remember, they have a red, so... See how it goes. Orb your teammate to the left. There's a teammate. All right, well... Or one of your teammates. Perfect. Work on your positioning. Keep right clicking up. Frozen buckets. Thanks for the tier one. Thank you. Appreciate it. Kick him away. Nice. Good job. Break bubble if you need to, or LOS. I I, I would break bubble, but I mean that's you don't have to. Hey, yeah, you don't have to break bubble. That would have been a waste. Okay, you got the point. Good start. So far your teammates are playing fine. Widow has ult. Do not wide peek this. What rank is this? This is gold. Almost got your Soldier 76 there. Okay. Alright, here we go. Wait for it. Okay. That, that was a lamp usage. Uh, if you're playing BAP there, you probably don't want to use lamp. Break bubble. Huge. I want you to be ready to zen this. Perfect. Wonderful. By the way... Just a little bit of a side note. I know we're watching Zenyatta gameplay here. Uh, if you're playing Mauga and you have your ultimate, remember that like you don't have to get out of your ultimate. It will it will act as a shield and give you unlimited ammo. I watched your Mauga actually try to get off to go for the Widow behind, but the Widow either would have been LOS and been rolled a few seconds later, or would have ran right into the thing or around it, and you would have had full ammo like all that. So like I, I don't know if your Mauga meant to do that, but they canceled their ultimate there and it kind of hecked it up. I, I, you were a bit aggro there, but I'm okay with that. That was one of those like longer team fights. Oh yeah, you're right. It's no longer. You know, you're right. Sorry. Rephrase that. Re rephrase that. Chat is right on that one. It's no longer un unlimited ammo, but you get the free reload. If I'm correct. Sorry. It's, it's too many Malga changes over the past two months. I, I, it's been so many Malga changes that keeping up with them, I just forgot. And I'm, I'm playing Malga, by the way, and I know I don't have unlimited ammo. If you're playing Malga, you ready? You have a giant shield in front of them. You'll be fine. Repetition. Den's on AFK chat. They're waiting for them to cap the point. Now you hit your spawn. There you go. Remember, I, I'm sure most players know it now, but for anybody returning to the game, there's a option added, I mean, I want to say almost a year ago now, that um, when you're in spawn and, like, your team wins a fight, uh, you can, and, like, you get the next point, you can just hit your interact key and it brings you to the next spawn. So that way you don't have to run all the way back. Was an excellent change. I'm glad they added it, and it feels like it's a part of Overwatch now in, like, a good way. You know what I mean? It feels like it was, it was, it was a change that has been good for Overwatch. At least in my opinion. Believe it or not, uh, Blizzard has made a lot of really small changes to Overwatch that have ended up being really good. Like, really cool features that, like, they just feel like a part of Overwatch now. You know what I mean? Like, you don't look at it as, like, oh, this is something completely, like, random. Like, there's been a lot of really cool things that they've done with it, which I, which I, I think so. 
Do you think you should have an option for press to interact? Yeah, I mean, I, there, there's definitely some things from like, and, and your team was gonna get rolled there anyway. There's definitely some things from like a tutorial, like, or like a beginner part of the game that I think they still probably need to improve on. I feel like there isn't enough info um, in the game for that. And I'm sure that's something they want to do, because obviously like, when you, when you have a free-to-play game, you're going to have a lot of new players trying it out. So making it like an almost a much better experience when a player first starts or understanding the game can be super helpful. Don't ult yet, but don't be afraid to ult this if you need to. Remember, they're on Mercy's end. So like your teammates can win fights. Too late. You can't wait till they get too low like that. And I'll explain why now. Uh, the, the passive, like you can't catch up with your heals as much. So waiting that long to be able to Zen ult, that's how you end up losing ult tracking. So if you, once again, ask how can you help your teammates when their DPS are rolling, etc., don't do that. Like, so far, there's been two plays that you have made that, yeah, already you can improve on that. Like, like if, you're, if, if your Mog is at 20% HP, you will not keep them up during that, or 15%. A new passive makes it tough. Okay, you went Ana. All right, so this is the Ana instead of the Zen. We'll see how it goes. I mean, this, this, will, help you, this will help your Mog, by the way, 100%. The Ana will help your Mog. Good, good grenade right now for you if you can get it. There we go. Just spam, spam, heal him. Spam. Just don't even... There you go. Good job. Good swap. You said the best tutorial is going on my stream and hitting the Twitch Prime button? I mean, I won't complain. I don't, that won't help you in-game, but it will certainly... It just, it's cool. Yeah, you can just do that, and that sounds great. Sounds great to me. Here we go. Cute. Yeah, so like, right now, you're doing pretty much what you can do. This is fine. Someone's to your right, by the way. I don't know if you, you knew that, but there was somebody to your right. Yeah. There you go. Good reaction by your teammate. Don't overalt this. Let the Kitsune have... That's fine. As long as you can Sune after. Nice job. Good job. Uh-oh. Back away. Back away. Not worth. Not worth. This ends now. Okay, you ready? Remember how you were talking about how, like, Remember how you were talking about how when when your teammate was like your teammates were, weren't popping off as DPS, etc. And like, what do they got to? What do you know? What what can you do to help? You know what can be helpful there? Your your Kiriko using Kitsune. If your team Kitsune is that after your Nano, you win that. Instead, you your teammates sit on Kitsune and you just don't get that value. That wouldn't even got to that point, and you probably capture the point. And this is why you chat has seen it before. I don't know if it was a bingo video. It's like. It's like Kitsune, Kitsune, Kitsune. Don't hold Kitsune. Use Kitsune. Like and like, obviously that's your other support, but like that can be also helpful too. Is like, hey, we can can we Kitsune here? Because like it's just such a good ultimate. All right, ready, Kitsune. Okay, the other team managed to build up a Kitsune before your team got one off, but it probably will be fine. Wait, uh oh, uh oh, watch out, watch out. Yeah, yeah, go, go in. That was the correct play. This, by the way, was the correct play. Because that Reaper was blatantly going in with ultimate. That was the correct play. Nice job. Good reaction to like seeing that. Throw on a grenade at your. There you go. You still might lose this though, unless you. Ooh, good job going for your teammate. Good idea. Nice nano. Nice sleep. And then you die to a widow. That's what Overwatch is all about, right? You make these really cool plays, you do everything there, and then you die to a widow. That is an Overwatch. I don't know what is. Alexa, thanks for the Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, I would say though, like it, you said, you want to be able to like help your DPS pop off. I think you played fairly well, and I don't think your DPS played inherently bad. Third point is a difficult point there, but what I will say is the lack of that Kitsune being used there is like the difference between your team getting full held there and your team winning the team fight, and like your team waiting so long to do that. Like, like that is needs to be, try to. Communicate it like let's use Kitsune as soon as we can, and I think you have a better result right there. My I'm so, my apology, I'm so, my apologies. 
You said the mob got off the card there. They lost the team fight though. That was over, wasn't it? I, I didn't even react to it because I think that team fight was just over. Like it, they weren't gonna win that. They they, they lost the numbers there. I, I mean, am I right wrong? This ends now. Chat. They they were losing that. It, it was literally a Malga by themselves and an Ash main. There was no way they're gonna win that. That would not be considered a C9 at that point. They're not gonna. <laughs> there's no way. That is not what a C9 would be. I'm telling you right now, they have a Sojourn out, they have a Kirikou coming back for spawn, they have one Ash here and a Malga. You're not winning that. That's not That's not what that is. At least in my opinion. Alright, let's see what happens here. You know how to solve this? 10 ults at once? We saw what happened yesterday when we popped 10 ults at once, the game crashed. The whole server did. Hanzo's out of position-ish. Not healing your teammate. Try to sleep in your mercy. Yeah, I know you didn't try sleeping in your mercy, but it looks like it. Go down a grenade. You need you need a position better. Okay, let me rephrase that. Let me rephrase that. Your position was fine. You need to reposition based off of how your teammates are playing. Good good start in position. Good like go with things. I, I think that was good. But yeah, so you need to reposition and be able to hit your teammates better. All right, so coming from somebody who randomly spams uh, my Ana heals for no reason, you could have easily kept your Mercy alive if you weren't just spamming random shots when they weren't you needed to. I do that too, though, because I just want to hit buttons. I'll be honest with you. But I get it. Now, just to pause for a second, by the way, you you did ask specifically, what are things I can do to help my team when they're getting rolled by the other DPS? Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not seeing a Widow light up the kill feed and get five every team fight. I, I will say, and it wasn't specifically on the supports there, but one thing I will say is that that was not the best first point for everybody. Um... So a lot of what you could do there is try to like, almost like just settle a little bit for a second and, and, and focus on keeping people alive rather than kind of just like randomly shooting, spinning in circles. There's been like four opportunities to keep your teammates alive and they've all fallen over. So. Wonderful. That was going to be a tough team fight anyway. At least they got Valk out. Wait, did, wait, your team Valked? Oh, I thought their team Valked. Oh, yeah, this is okay. First of all, couldn't get couldn't get the the uh, the Kiriko to use Kitsune earlier, but in a situation where your team's about to lose your Mercy Valks with one second, with, like, with no time, like, on the high noon. I just want to point that out just to go back for a second. Stop wide peeking. Stop wide peeking. Stop wide peeking. Not worth. I'm telling you right now, that's how you get staggered. I know they didn't get the shot in you, but that, you gotta get out of the habit of overdoing that sometimes. Be ready to nano probably your queen here. Like, actually, what do you have alt wise? You actually nano your Reaper. Nano your Reaper. Nano your Reaper. Dude. They're making the play first. You have to, you nano your Reaper there because you're gonna heal your na your nano, right? But you're gonna heal with your nano on the Reaper, right? You get what I'm saying? So if you heal with nano on Reaper, they go back in, you keep them alive, you can win a team fight. Instead, you just try to heal everybody up and you lose. Uh, I did one coaching thing live. SVB was in ranked. It actually went really well. People liked it. It's on my second channel. It's called like, I coach SVB live. People liked it. It was fun. Yep. Good shots. Uh, if you go to my YouTube, you can see some tournaments that we played in recently. We, we, we have a team called Overwatch. Bunch of streamers. We're a stream team. It's fun. 
Nano! I just want you to nano at this point. Like, I, at this point, I need to see this nano be used. I don't I, I just... I, <laughs> don't nano now. Wait. Hey, your caster's got a limbs! I'm just saying! I think we uploaded that one too, man. That one was tough because it was quick play, so I, I found that like if it was ranked, if we planned it out better, it could have went well with that. Okay, here we go. I need to... So I'm just I'm looking for nano. I, I can't I can't find it because apparently the Ana has decided that using nano at any point here to even have an aggressive play happen is not happening. And it just goes back to what you said. We're like, what can I do to help my teammates? Like, what what can I do when my DPS are getting rolled? I, I I'm gonna be honest with you. When I saw Circuit Royale and you said your DPS were getting rolled, I was envisioning a widow on their team popping off. You know what I'm seeing? Long team fights that your teammates are gradually falling down on low HP and then eventually get rolled, and their team is being proactive with their ultimates, and both you and the other support haven't been proactive with the ultimates and look what's happening like your team hasn't been proactive at all with alts and look what's happened the other team is literally just alton and your team is sitting there waiting to use your alts you have kitsune you have nano watch these ultimates when you use them if you even can okay nano your kiriko gotta nano somebody right wow wonderful okay so just to, just to summarize here, how can you help your teammates in this situation when the other DPS are just dominating? Use your support ultimates. Use your Katsunes. Use your Nano. Use these plays to give your teammates opportunity to pop off, and the kill feed had your teammates on there sometimes. That is how you help your team. But if you're going to sit there and just wait for the perfect moment, what like you just need to make those aggressive plays. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to win that to begin with. You can't rely on just like your teammates to hit every single shot, and then their team just ults the whole time, and you win those fights. You need to be more proactive with that. And if you're not, that's what's going to happen. So... You want to help in those games? Be proactive with your ultimates. You and your other support, if you do that, I think you have much better team fights. I think you even cap the point and have another opportunity here, even if you get rolled like you just did. That's how I see it. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to all three YouTubes if you haven't. Uh, leave a comment. All that stuff helps. Uh, if you want to submit your own, spectate in or play the game, etc., look in the description below. You'll see my Discord. That's where you can submit a bunch of stuff. We also record these live on stream. If you look below the webcam, you can see the Twitch chat. That is where we uh, yeah, you can stop by if you haven't. And with that being said, hope you have an amazing day slash night.